Hey everyone, welcome back to my LP of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Let's continue and finish off, that is if I can do it in this episode, the SSN. Let's see what the upper area takes me. This ship, she's a luxury liner that Pokemon trainers the world over love to get a ride on. Every time you pull into port, we have a fancy party and invite all the best trainers to attend. There's nothing in this bush. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Nothing there. Okay, so I can go up there, which would probably take me to the front of the boat, if I remember correctly. Yeah, let's do that first. I can go over here, which is strange, but not there. Our captain is a sword master. He's awesome at using Chop Down. I am guessing that is the new alternative for Cut. They say he'll teach his move to anyone who shows potential. Nothing in the bushes. Okay. And, oh! Pika! Ohm seems very excited. It seems like Ohm wants to see what's up ahead on the ship. Okay, we'll get there. Oh, trainer! I actually didn't notice him over there. Hey, baby! Let's do a little jig. Well, let's do it! I'm taking you down nonetheless. And your name is... Edmund. Nope, can't do anything with Edmund. Oh well, he's got one single polywag. I do like the dock area here, though. Hey, wait, is that... No, it looks like a tent in the background, but... No. I'm just seeing things. I was looking at that piece of, like, land on the island over there in the background. Uh, hold... I was gonna say, just hold steadfast on that water gun. And you took, uh, 14 damage, which is good. You're tough, Embark. Alright, that was pretty easy. And there you go. Impressive, you took the wind right out of my sails. Alright, let's see what's down here. Uh-oh. Tail moving. Hey, I actually got some fruit for once from the table. Well, to be fair, it was actually from... Looks like it was from under the table. What do you got to say? The party is winding down. It's about time for the ship to set sail. Uh-oh, he's gonna run into me, isn't he? Nope. I'm going to talk to him first, if I can. Turn the other way. Thank you. Whew! Scrubbing decks is hard work. Anything over here? Nope, no other hidden items. Can I walk behind you? No, I can't. Well, I might as well talk to you from behind. Ahoy there! Do you not get seasick on ships? I never got actually sick on anything, including planes. But anyways, you are Trevor. Jeez, what's up with these names? I can't do anything with them. Alright, he's got two Pokemon. Got a seal there. Uh, let's see. Or, let's seal. <laughs> you know, just forget it. I tried to make a pun. That was awful. I'll go for the dig first. Because seal is like a water type, I think. So, flamethrower might not do enough damage. Let's see what dig does. A little better. Encore, huh? So you want me to go for another dig? Fine, I'll do it. Here you go. <laughs> Please let me choose the options there. See what happens. Okay, it's just let me. I was gonna say, I thought it would do it for me and just go for the dig right away. That's not even fair. You're gonna make me choose dig? Do it yourself, game. Okay, one down, one more to go. I'm gonna guess it's a shelter. Oh, I was... You know what? I almost could have said Machop too, because... The two trainers from the old games... They... I think they both had a Machop. One had a Poliwag, and another one had... I mean, no, 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 I'm, set, I'm sorry, I said that all wrong. They both had a Machop, and then one other, like, water-type Pokemon. One was a shelter. Oh, that's right, I'm still under the effects of Encore, but anyways... One was a shelter, and then the other trainer had... Oh, I can't remember. 
Oh shoot, jeez, I played the old game so many times and I can't even believe I... I forgot. Again, one train, one sailor had him a chop and a shelter. And the other one had him a chop and a... One minute, oh, you crit me. Dang it, don't crit my pants. You know what, I might be wrong the whole time, so just forget it. I'm just gonna finish off this trainer right here. At least Encore is done. Phew. I was just careless. Sure you were. Wait, is that... Is that like an expert trainer? We'll see what the front of the ship holds, because Pikachu wanted to take a look. <laughs> well, there you go. You got what you wanted. You gaze over the wide open sea together with Ohm. Ohm seems really happy. Looks like there's no reaction, because I would have known back on the top, on the bottom left corner over there. I almost said top left, what am I even saying? Oof, I don't feel so good. I came out for some air because I got seasick. Oh, that's right, I remember him too. Oh, there's nothing left on the dock, or not dock. The, the outside of the ship, for lack of better words. I don't know why it's a dock for. I got bad vocabulary. There is one, two... Three, four, five, six. And that's where the captain is. Alright, from left to right. Starting with door number one. And you must talk about Snorlax. I've journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like that one. It was massive. A huge, round Pokemon. You didn't even get to show me what Pokemon it was. No items. Nope. Alright. This one's done. How about this one? Uh oh. I smell a battle coming. No items in that trash. Oh, there's an item behind him. Let's go take tippy toe steps right forward to him. Mm. There we go. Check out what I fished up. So let me get this straight. Are you fishing out from the windows? Isn't that illegal? He, help! He's doing illegal fishing, Mr. Dale. Ah, uh, there's Dale Earnhardt Jr. The late, great Dale Earnhardt. Um, that's all I can think of for Dales. Oh, well. Let's see. Headbutt. Let's get this group group out of the way. <laughs> you flinched. You can't even attack. Like you, All you can do is splash. I hit you with headbutt, and you flinched. You can't even do anything, Magikarp. You're worthless. I'm all out. That's all you had, huh? Alright, let's see what this thing is. Is it a TM, finally? It's a revive. I guess TMs are very rare in this game now. It says, only found six. Okay, four more left. Uh, I hope you're not sick. Small trees can be chopped down by the masterful secret technique, chopped down. How about... Hang on. Items? No items. Alright. Are you a trainer? I've seen Pokemon vary people across the water. I really have. Alright. Half of them are gone. Got another half to go, though. And we got some trainers. Hit the Pokeballs on the chair! Well, the, the gentleman knows me from way over here. Yep. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. Oh, you must have the, uh... Might have a Rattata on his team. Brooks. There's Brooks and Dunn. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's right. One of them did have a ponytail back then. Alright, and Bark, you get the move to take it down. There it is. No, no quick attacks. Get rid of this pony, Ember, uh, Embark. Heh, <laughs> why do you use quick attack for, you dumb phony? You're gone. Well, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. 
Right, you're gone. Good match. Ah, I feel young again. And so far, I don't think I haven't got... Yeah, I haven't got any great balls yet. From SSN, that is. Let me check. Yeah, I still got 14 great balls, and I have 33 Pokeballs. Alright, one more before I get to that Pokeball. Oh shoot, you might be blocking the way now. Which do you find to be more worthy? A strong Pokemon, or a rare one? Uh, I'd rather just go for a strong one, because I want to be the very best, Mr. Lamar. Can't do anything with Lamar. There's, uh, there's actually one Lamar I can think of. Uh... The superintendent from, uh, I was thinking Disney, but no, I just go with Nickelodeon, but Principal Lamar from Doug. <laughs> I'll go for Flamethrower. Burn this shrew to a crisp. That's more like it. And there, I must salute you. Now let's see what this Pokeball is on the chair. It must be a very special one. Yep, it's a nugget. No hidden items. Okay, this room is done. Two more to go. Ooh. Are these trainers too? I don't think they appear to be. Have you been to the Go Park Complex in Future City? There were many rare Pokemon there. Uh, about that, guys. Since I have very limited access to Pokemon Go, I will not be attending the Go Park. And it's a shame that I think, according to what the guy said, that it's being held in Future City, that there is no Safari Zone in this game. Instead, it's just the Go Park. So, that's... That's really a crapper right there. But like I said, no Go Park in that slot play because... I can't really access it without my Pokemon Go game. I haven't played it very much, so I'm just going to ignore the Go Park. Me and my daddy love the Go Parks. I wish we could go there again. I, get, I think I'll repeat myself later when I get to the Go Park itself in Fuchsia City, just as a refresher or a reminder. I think these are not trainers. The captain said he's awfully sick. He was looking all pale, too. I can't believe there's no hidden items anywhere. I hear it's really quite common. People get seasick, that is. And that's it, so... How is my Embark doing? He's... He's taking some damage, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. So, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go up to... I mean, not up. I'm gonna go down to the next floor of the boat and get my Pokemon healed. Alright, all set. Now, sick, Graham. Will you show up here? I'm gonna take very small steps, if I can. How fast can I move? Easy on the Joy-Con. That's the slowest speed I got! I'll screw that, then I'll just keep going forward. I knew it! Wait a minute! You were from down the boat! Is he like magic or something? Jeez! I don't wanna think about that too hard. I bet I know what happened. He must have left the boat, dived off into the water, then climbed on on the boat like on the outside and climbed all the way up to the top and then met the captain that way. Uh, in that case, he'd have ammonia, right? Anyways. Hey Marcus, over here. You see those stairs there? The captain's quarters are up there. He can teach you this cool secret technique if you ask him. He's really famous for it. Though, he looked pretty done in by seasickness when I saw him. Hey, before we go to meet him, how about I take a look to see how well you've been raising your Pokemon, huh? Yep, I knew it! And guess what, Sikram? You're going down once again! Ooh, you got Pidgeotto now, alright? You're getting a little bit better there. Because if it was still a Pidgey, I'd be laughing. I would literally be laughing right now. Alright, level 20 Pidgeotto, so okay, I got some, myself a challenge here. Hmm... Flamethrower! Let's cook this thing! Oh, wing attack. Hang in there. Okay, that's not bad. Finish it. Take this! Alright, got two more to go. You got this, Embark. Here comes Eevee! What level will Eevee be at? Like 22? 
21. How about I'll try to flinch it? Dang it, quick attack! You gotta be kidding me! I want to go for the flamethrower. Another quick attack? Are you serious? Stop it! There, how's that feel? Oh, come on! You serious? Please don't use quick attack. Super potion! What?! Screw you! Right up to full health! Just wonderful! Again, don't use quick attack. But you, what the, you kidding me? I can't flinch you if you keep using that move! Uh, now I gotta use a potion. Here you go, Embark. Now, since I used the potion, you might as well use the quick attack now, because it's not gonna make much of a difference. Like I thought. Ah, I'm in a tight predicament, though. Please don't crit my pants. Okay, good. Get rid of that thing! Yes, finally. Let's see what the last one's gonna be. I don't remember. Oh, that's right, Oddish. Oh, this is gonna be easy. I'm gonna cook some radishes tonight. Fire! Burn! Oh, what the fuck? You better be kidding me! Embark! Yeah, you deserve that! You should've knocked it out! Jeez, I'm crow. Alright, grape juice. Finish the job. Stuff that radish right into your big fat mouth. Hey, that makes sense. I'll do I'll do exactly just that. Crunch. There. There, how's that feel, sick Graham? You can't beat me. Whoa, I can't believe it. <laughs> wow, Marcus. You you've gotten pretty strong. Oh, uh, nothing. That's cool. Anyway, go meet the captain and have him show you his secret technique. Oh, Ohm has something to say. <laughs> Ohm looks proud and is given a contented a contented smile. I'm not petting him right now, though. Because I know exactly what would happen. And there's the gold captain. Still no hidden items, right? No. Of course not. I want to sit in your chair. Ah. Ooh, ooh, I feel terrible. <laughs> this seasickness has done me in. I was going to try to take a look at the inside the trash can. Because I remember playing the old games and looking inside and it would say, Yuck! Shouldn't have looked. Anyways. You rub the captain's back. There, there, old fellow. Whew, thank you. I'm feeling much better now. So what did you want from me? Oh, you want to learn my secret technique? Of course, I'd be happy to teach it. Come along with me. Pika Pika? Ha ha ha, that Pikachu looks more than ready to learn my secret technique. But I'm afraid it's really om only for humans. What's this? You really want to try to learn it, no matter what? Well... Color me surprised. I've traveled all over this wild world and this is the first time I have a, had a Pokemon want to learn my secret technique. But with spirit like that, well then, who am I to say no? I'll teach my special secret technique even to that Pikachu of yours. Come with me, little friend. Now, watch carefully. <laughs> there you go. Now I can cut bushes, apparently. Whoa-ho! It really went and learned Chop Down. Using Chop Down, your Pikachu will be able to help you chop down thin trees. You could go give it a try, uh... That's right! How about on the trees around Vermilion City? Whew. Now I guess it's about time for the SSN to set sail again. This may be goodbye for now, until the next time we return to Vermilion City. Okay, sweet! Maybe I might have time to take on Lieutenant Surge. Let me look. 21 minutes? Maybe! 
We'll see. I'll get there as fast as I can. Um, I got a hunch, though, that there's, there's going to be a cutscene of the SSN taking off, so I don't know how long that's going to be. And I might as well heal one more time instead of going to the Pokemon Center. There. One more rest for the road. Alright. And now, we get to witness the deportation of SSN. Bon voyage! And there's that familiar jingle. Just by looking the 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 cruise ship taking off like that. It reminds me of One Piece. Cause they're out in the open sea as well. Oh oh, you're new. Oh, it's that uh what's her name? Mina, I think? Aw. Oh, well, shoot. Hmm? I was so caught up sketching the ocean view here that I guess I missed my ship. That's awful, or what are you going to do? Let's go with that's awful. Hmm. I guess I'll stay here for a while in that case. I really like the color of the sea in Kanto anyway. I can't remember her name exactly. I think it's Mina, but we'll find out later. But it looks like... Oh! Oh, that's just the little wink gun. Just remind me that the gym is now ready to be taken on. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to take on the gym as fast as I can. Yo, Jeff and the Mate, and beyond this point is a million city gym, but you'll need to chop that train down first, and yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I think you and Pikachu will have no trouble slicing through. Come on, give it a shot. It seems this tree can be chopped down. Do you want to use the secret technique chopped down? Yes. Goodbye, tree. Good work! You chopped down that troublesome tree and opened their way to the gym. And that means you can challenge the gym now. I'll be waiting for you there! I wonder if that's the only requirement to get inside the gym, other than what that coach has told me. Like, in Misty's gym, it would be like, oh, you need a Pokemon level 15 or higher, or something like that. So let's see. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Let's see, I see a... A red trash can and a blue trash can. First things first though, trainers, this is no place for kids, not even if you're good at Pokemon. I'll take you on and shut your mouth. What's your name, sailor? <laughs> oh my god, I timed that perfectly when I said shut your mouth. Because the one and only, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, know your role and shut your mouth. Perfect. I can't believe I timed that. Oh, this is gonna be easy. One and only move? Flamethrower. Of course, there's also Dig, too, but that would take too long. Alright, one down, one to go. Yeah, you know what? I actually might have time to take on Lieutenant Surge in this episode. Wow, surprised me. Alright, I'll go for... Ooh, you got a megaphone on you. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. That's why I joined this gym. He might be like an electrician or something, but he's not an engineer. He is a... Well, he's a rocker, but he has no guitar. And his name is Bailey. Can't do anything with Bailey. Whoops, I burped. Excuse me. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, let's see. Is this... Voltorb's level 22? I'm level 22 as well, so you know what's gonna happen. Voltorb's gonna go first. Of course! Don't paralyze me. Okay, good. Please take it down one hit and bark, please. Here we go. Yes! Good job! I need Dig to get rid of this... Get rid of this gem, like... Pick it up from the ground and just throw it out into the ocean or something. I gotta rephrase that. Since I do have Dig, that's gonna help me... Uh, beat this gem. For lack of better words, I suppose. Well, Swift is better than Thundershock because it can't paralyze me. 
Alright, finish it off. Good job. Alright, got one more trainer. Now, the only thing that might slow down my time to get to the gym, or the gym leader, which is Lieutenant Surge, are the trash can puzzle. Or it is the trash can puzzle. Uh, fried! Alright, now it's gonna take on this gentleman over here. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict, uh, CO. Chief Operator, I suppose? I can't remember what that means, but... He was a hard taskmaster! I bet this gentleman will have one Pikachu on him. Just like back then. Your name is Tucker. There's Tanya Tucker, the country singer. And I was right, he had a Pikachu! I almost said Friar Tucker, but it's actually Friar Tuck from Robin Hood. Uh, who will be faster? I bet Pikachu is going to be faster, we'll see. No, me! That's surprising. Oh, he's got weak defense too, so I might be able to do it in one hit. Yes! Good job. Is it, will this be a level up though? Oh, almost! Stop! You're very good. And that's it for the trainers. Let's see. On my computer, it's been almost 28, but I did take a time out to go heal when I was on the SSN, so I might have a few minutes left in this episode. Let's see how fast I can get done this puzzle. I noticed that one of the trash cans is blue and the other is red. Nope, only trash here. Only trash here. Nothing but trash. More garbage. Nothing but trash again. I see a banana peel. Hey, there's a switch under the trash. Let's push it. Alright, there's one. The first electric barrier was deactivated. I almost thought something too. Charge! Like <laughs> to cute myself. How about this trash? Another one. Let's push it. You mean to tell me I got that in one shot? <laughs> wow. Now, about these other trash cans though, what about them? It's a blue trash can. Okay. And it's a red trash can. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. I know why there's a red and a blue one. The color actually is kind of irrelevant. But they put those there because I reckon that having 15 trash cans to search through two buttons in a row was too difficult. So they dropped it down to 13 trash cans. So they made it a little bit easier. So yeah. Just in case, for example, if there was a button right here... Then it would easily be like either here or maybe even here. I'm on the bit like here or something. You get the gist. So that's pretty convenient. They made the puzzle easier. All right, Pikachu. You ready for this? Let's see who I'm gonna use. I just noticed that Inoki is a grass type. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for Inoki on this one. Alright, and Barking, I take a backseat on this one because he did take a little bit of damage. And right now, I got very little time in this episode, so let's hurry this up and just zap this gym leader into submission. Here we go! Ten Hut, welcome to the Vermilion City Gym! Will you look at that? A pint a pint sized challenger! Ha ha ha! You got big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power! A Pokemon battle is war! I'll show you, civilian! I'll shock you into surrender! Yeah, right. And I got one name for Surge. The Surge Soda, which I... Maybe I'm thinking it's still in business, or it's still for sale in stores. It was discontinued at one point. But anyways, you got three Pokemon. And this is the first time I'm using Parasect, too, I just realized. Oh, that's right, I got Leech Life. I got Growth, too. Alright, I'm gonna growth it up. Thunderbolt? That's not gonna do anything. <laughs> All right, Parasect. Let's grow up and be nice and strong. You know what? I'm gonna go for one more. And make it uh, double like Team Rocket would say. Let's double the growth. Make it trouble. Make it double. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, two growths. That's good. Now I'm gonna go for the... Let's see, I've taken damage. So I'm gonna go for the Leech Life. Just don't paralyze me. Please don't paralyze me. Please don't. Yes, good job. Oh, that's a cool-looking effect there, the presentation of that. 
Holy crap, I like that. The fangs and whatnot. Alright, one down, two to go. And Mark got a level up. Magnemite. Ah, right, let's go keep going. I'm pretty confident not to strum my own banjo and to blow my own kazooie that this Magnemite should be no problem. Even though my moves are a little bit, like... They're not that effective against it, but I'm gonna go for the slash and see if I can crit its pants. Nope, I did half damage, so that's alright. And with that, I'm gonna go for one more Leech Slife and get my HP back. And there you go! Can I get it all back? I did! Wow! Parasect, you're in fit and shape! I'm sorry, Enoki! You're in fit and shape for the final Pokemon, which is probably gonna be Raichu. Yep, like I thought. Let's keep going! You're level 26. Let's see. You know what? Screw it! I'm going all out! Don't paralyze me. Okay, good. Take this! One hit! Perfect! Excellent job, Anoki! And look, you got all your HP back. It's as if you never even took even any damage at all. Perfect! How's that feel, Surge Soda? Maybe you should drink water from here on out. Now that's a shocker! You're the real deal, kid! Alright, now give me my badge. <laughs> Fine, then take a Thunder Badge. Just a Thunder Badge. Doo doo! Yay! And that's not all. You're a special kid. Take this. <laughs> I'm sorry. An autograph? Where's my TM? <laughs> Don't worry. That's not all I'm giving you. Okay, good. I'm getting my TM after all. It's probably gonna be Thunderbolt anyways. Yay! And it's now 36 instead of 24. Kinesia Electrifying Thunderbolt. Teach an electric type Pokemon for some extra shock value. Oh, and no one wants to over here at celebration. Looks exhausted from how nervous it was. He can still go on though. He didn't even battle. I'll try the secret techniques. So there's five totals. I reckon this one's cut or chopped down. This one's gonna be probably fly. Surf, strength, flash. Just like the old days, just like red, blue, and yellow, and yada yada yada. You get what I'm saying. Um, with that, wow, it's been all my clocks have been like 34 minutes, so just barely in time. I'm almost about to go overtime. Because on the video, it's probably gonna be like 32 minutes or something like that, so. Hey, look! It's Misty. I wonder if she'll stop me, though. She did! Oh, it's you again! Oh, wow, so you beat Lieutenant Surge. You must be pretty good. Glad to see you really learned a thing or two, and your Pokemon must have tried their best. I was just going to the Pokemon Center and heal from there. Thanks, Misty. You just made things quicker for me. Oh, me? I'm going swimming in the sea. There are times when you just want to break free from a puny little pool and swim in the big blue. Where are you headed next? Have you been to Diglett's Cave? It's pretty close by. If you haven't been, I could show you the way. Want a guide? I might as well. Great. Then let's go. I'm gonna just warp over there. Or just walk, okay. This is Diglett's cave. Diglett dug out this cave path all on their own. Okay, see ya. Be sure to meet lots of Pokemon. Take care, Misty. And that's pretty much the same thing I'm gonna say to you guys, because I'm gonna call the episode good right here. I'm about to go over time, so... That's it. So next time, I enter Diglett's cave and... Probably it'll take me back to Pewter City where I can pick up an old amber. And with that, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. And like always, take care.